Everybody in here has worked the job, has more than a million dollars. Y'all have never worked, y'all have never did nothing. Y'all literally have five minutes of max in here. Then y'all gotta get out, okay? Five minutes, you know how much five minutes is? Okay. Yeah. They've, no, they, they've never worked, you gotta think. They've never worked a job, but they can fly with us. Yo, anybody need water? Anybody need water? No, we good, bro. You got paper towels, Shut the yeah. fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what we have here is Ty Lil's live stream that he did with Michael Rainey Jr. On the live stream, right in the beginning, we see his little sister, S.A. Michael Rainey Jr. on the live stream. It's very subtle, it's very quick, but it happens instantly in the beginning of the clip where she rushes towards him and really touches the most inappropriate place that she could. And not only that, but it's also the environment that she's in. She's willing to do it in front of her brother, her brother's friends, and those little children too. In that moment, she wasn't concerned about anything else but her 304 antics. And you can see how uncomfortable he is. We don't know if he was feeling her. We don't know if he was attracted to her. And on top of that, the brother's there. There's other guys there. And it, it makes so much sense why he reacted this way. Because you really have to look at the environment. He could have baited her out so really made it known that i'm uncomfortable leave me alone but you're also around men or other um, guys that are around your age you have to think about that what's the risk how are they going to react are they going to side with the little sister and put you in a place at home should you play it cool and let it go which he did he played it cool because it's such an awkward position to be in as a young man that he also has to think about his safety and what's going on around him and his brand as he's an actor and what was the best thing to do and sadly the best thing to do was to push her away and to awkwardly play it off to not escalate it and make it any worse but overall we literally just witnessed him being essayed she's not a young girl she's over 18 from what i heard she's a she's between 22 and 24 old enough to know what's right and wrong and clearly she enjoys being a 304 so much and has little respect for anyone there that that's all that she was concerned with Chat, word of my mother, I'm trying to literally ignore this shit. Mm -hmm. But I'm getting texts, the energy shifted, and niggas just got up and left. Like, all that shit really made me, like, all those side of shit really made me feel away. Because, one, when people come, this is your crib. It's about hospitality. That's That means everything. Stop telling me to ignore it because I was trying to ignore it. Y'all dick riders was spamming it. That shit really got me really feeling away because, bro, I be around celebrities all day. You feel what I'm saying? Like, even when I first started being my, my first few celebrities, don't even know if I do unusual shit. No, no, no homo. Like, nothing crazy. Like, I'd be like, yo, like, I'd be trying to record, get a video, a picture, whatever. But due time, you feel what I'm saying? That shit don't really mean nothing to you. We all eat, we all the same. But she never seen somebody that cab caliber, so she start, you feel what I'm saying? And that's my sister, so, like, I'm not gonna say nothing bad about it. I'm gonna just check and tell her, like, you don't gotta be on it. We all the same, we all human. If he's here for me, he's here for you. Family Sunday dinner shit every Sunday. You feel what I'm saying? I got people telling me you gotta be aware of who you have around when these have you come. Why should I? We all equal. You feel what I'm saying? It's gonna be it's, we all got a mutual agreement and it's about respect. Shit got me dumb mad, bro. Like we're I'm real shit. I, nothing got me nothing ever got me more mad than this, bro. To be honest, this just lets me know that Michael Rainey Jr handled it the best way he can because this is who he's dealing with this is the type of mindset and this is the type of response he has for his little sister and he takes no accountability for her behavior and doesn't make her take any accountability so realistically what i see would have happened is if he had made it known that he was uncomfortable and that she did what she did 
in that moment on the live stream it would have went left because if he's not taking accountability afterwards by himself what makes you think he's gonna take accountability and make the loss take accountability in that moment with all his friends on the live stream it it really would have turned out bad and i personally believe that he saw it and he decided to handle it in his own way everything he's saying here to me it doesn't even make sense i'll be very honest with you he's babbling he's just saying a bunch of words and on top of that the the excuse you give your little sister is the fact that she's never been around that certain caliber of man so she's just willing to just jump on any type of guy because he's a celebrity actor or has money that's the type of little sister you have and what type of big brother are you the fact that she felt that comfortable to do it around you it, it questions it makes me question like is there no father figure in your life why weren't you more concerned about having those kids and your little sister in that type of environment with other guys around why are you not being protective why are you not actually being a young man in that place and if you can't do that then the best thing he could have done is he said you know what kids and little sisters out it's just us and the guys so he can be comfortable and not have to feel like there's too much going on that he can't be able to handle he's way too laid back and he doesn't want to take accountability and he's trying to protect this reputation that him and his sister has that is forever going to be tarnished no one's ever going to respect him as a man and no one's ever going to respect her as a woman or a young woman and it's sad that it's so easy for other men to just overlook this one thing I'll give it to the females is when it comes to SA and any other woman or fem female being violated, they don't allow it. They will make it known. They will take it to court. Whether take your money or put you in prison, it will be the last time and you'll be too afraid to do anything to a female or woman. But I hate to say it, but it's men like this that don't, that make it so normalized for other men to be essayed, even in public and no one does anything about it. Personally, I think men need to learn to take these assaults very seriously. And some may agree or disagree, but I think there comes a risk when men portray themselves as being very promiscuous by nature, visual creatures, and willing to sleep with anyone at any time as long as it's easily accessible. Honestly, I think this is what begins to happen is you don't only put yourself in a vulnerable position, but you also put other men and other young men in a vulnerable position to be assaulted in such a manner publicly that no one sees it as anything but normal because that's expected of you as a man that you should be comfortable to be in such that type of lustful nature that you was you, as a man he's supposed to thrive in it instead of seeing it as him actually being essayed and being very uncomfortable in the environment that he should never been in and too often men do normalize a, a very promiscuous behavior let me know what you think thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe. Bye!